cybersecurity threats are all around us. From hackers causing mischief, to organized crime syndicates pursuing financial gain, to nation states conducting espionage. In this cybersecurity video, we will cover some best practices to secure your identity. Social engineering is the clever manipulation of the natural human tendency of trust in order to obtain information to help facilitate fraud, network intrusion, system disruption, or identity theft. Cybersecurity threats mainly focus on two forms of social engineering. Phishing, the practice of using emails, texts, and phone calls that appear to be from a reputable source in order to obtain personal information or influence in action. Impersonation, posing as a trusted person or source with the goal of obtaining information or access to a person, company, or computer system. To prevent social engineering, be vigilant at all times. If something seems suspicious, it probably is. Verify the source. Know who you are talking to before sharing personal information. If you recognize a scam, report it. Sharing too much information with too many people, or in unsecure ways, can expose you to a variety of security threats. Oversharing can lead to stolen passwords, data breaches, and leaked personal or financial information. To ensure safety when online, ask yourself, is what I'm going to share personal or confidential information? Assume that any information you share on a social network site is public. Do not share information online that you would not share in person. Only connect to secure wireless hotspots. Make sure to sign off the wireless network when you are no longer using it. Use privacy settings and limit the amount of personal information you post online. Do not add strangers to your social media sites. Before you accept an invitation to connect, ensure the person is who they say they are. Phishing emails are a prominent social engineering tactic used by cyber criminals and something you are likely to encounter on the job. Many times, a phishing message arrives from what seems like a known source. The message may notify you that a package has shipped, that you need to update your personal information on a website, or that you want a prize something too good to be true. However, behind that harmless-looking email might be a phishing link or malware that can be dangerous. Therefore, it is important you understand and adhere to the following security practices for recognizing, preventing, reporting, and recovering from phishing. Cyber criminals use graphics in email that appear to be connected to legitimate websites, but actually take you to phony scam sites or legitimate-looking pop-up windows. They may contain spelling errors or bad grammar. If you notice multiple mistakes in an email, it might be a scam. Cyber criminals are becoming more sophisticated and their phishing emails are becoming more professional looking too. They may include questionable links or fake websites. If you receive a suspicious email message and it prompts you to click on a link, hover over the link. If the link does not match the name in your email, or if the link points to a website or company you have never heard of or visited before, this could be a phishing attempt. Be on the lookout for threats or rewards. Emails that threaten account closure or offer you a special deal could be from a cyber criminal. If you receive an email that urges you to take action by threatening or offering you some kind of reward, be careful. Don't trust the address on the from line. If an email looks like it came from someone you know, but it does not sound like something they would send, contact them via another direct email to verify it. Cyber criminals can make the from address appear to be any email address they want. This is a technique called spoofing. To prevent being phished, follow these and other smart security practices. Enable email security features for all of your accounts. Programs like Microsoft's Outlook and Office 365 let you filter and automatically delete junk emails, create safe and blocked sender lists, and when enabled, report and block suspicious emails. Recognize credential phishing sites. If you click on a link in an email and it takes you to a site prompting you for your credentials, proceed with caution. Examine the address bar to ensure it links to a legitimate website, portal, or other web property. Always use a secure network when logging into any websites that ask for your credentials. Make sure security software is up to date on your devices. Never give out personal information. 
If you think you have been fished, below are ways you can recover from a scam even if you have provided information to the attacker. Use antivirus software to scan your machine. Update passwords, including email, online merchants, and social media pages. Contact your bank and credit card companies. If you disclosed any payment or personal information to the scammers, contact your financial institutions to obtain new cards. While people will likely remain the weakest link in the cybersecurity chain, following the practices shared in this video will help mitigate risk and maintain a more secure, productive environment.